Welcome to We the People's News. Here is an intern from the Obama administration in his walk away story. And you need to listen to what he has to say. Because he is dead right. And we are being sold down the tubes. Thank you and enjoy. Hey guys, this is Eddie Garcia. I wanted to share with you my walk away story. I served in the last class of White House interns for President Obama. While serving, I had multiple experiences that just did not sit right with me. It started to erode my image of the Democratic Party. I kept my head down and continued to work past this, trying to stay loyal to my friends and loyal to my party. After leaving the White House, I worked for Senator Bernie Sanders. While working on one of his committees, I started to run in more liberal circles, uh, becoming more exposed to the agenda of the left, the far left. And a lot of these ideas just did not sit right with me. But not only that, but the extent of the ideas and how far they planned on taking it. For example, many of you think gun reform, the Democrats, and you're thinking, okay, well, semi-automatics, no problem. And I'm here to tell you that's not the case. That's just the first step in a long series of steps to take away your right to bear arms. Little by little, the intent is to encroach on that right. And to me, that's just not acceptable. The right to bear arms is a constitutional fundamental right and we must protect it. And that's just one of the reasons why I've decided to leave the party. Another reason why I've decided to leave the party is because of the recent uh, censorship of individuals like Alex Jones. And while you may not agree with his politics, that's fine. But the man has a right to say it. And I find it very un-American and unacceptable that um, platforms like Facebook and YouTube could collude together and all in just one day remove a man um, like Alex Jones from practicing his God-given right to freedom of speech. And I know some of you may say it's a private platform, it's a private company, or what have you, but I think today YouTube, Facebook, these are the modern day public um, platforms and they should be treated as such and it's not acceptable. I believe that the Democratic Party has sold us out. Whatever happened to the idea of freedom of speech and marketplace of ideas? Aren't they the bedrock of our society? I'm here to tell you that the Democratic Party is not going to hoodwink us. There will be blowback for this censorship come November. And I find it odd that individuals like Alex Jones would be censored or shadow banned a few months before the midterms. And the third and main reason while I'm leaving the Democratic Party is because they have lost sight of rural America and working class families. Middle class folks just trying to get by. The Democratic Party has become a party of East Coast and West Coast elites that have no regard for rural America and just consider them flyover states. No wonder Trump won. 
because the Democratic Party is just not paying attention to the South and to the Midwest. And they're going to continue to suffer because of that. We've got to get back to the basics, to looking out for everyday Americans and improving their quality of life. I can't tell you how many times while at the White House I interjected with the bringing up the needs of rural America or working class families and particularly with working class families how that was just kind of pushed aside wasn't important and that's just not acceptable every state contributes to our great nation not just the East Coast and the West Coast every state contributes Another major reason why I'm leaving the Democratic Party is because there just seems not to be a willingness to debate the issues without resorting to labeling. And instead of calling people racist, bigots, misogynists, or whatever, rather than having a constructive debate, now, call a spade a spade. If someone's a racist, then call them a racist. But reserve that term for actual racist, actual bigots. I feel that these labels are being thrown, particularly from the left, as a way to silence people. Because you don't agree necessarily with their worldview, and that's not acceptable. We've got to be able to get comfortable again with sharing our ideas and discussing the issues. You know, I pray, I honestly pray that eventually the United States returns to some degree of normalcy and that both Democrats and Republicans can get back to work, working on the issues. But I don't see that happening anytime soon, particularly from the left. They need to be willing to hear us out. And for those reasons, I'm walking away. <laughs>